All right, hello and welcome to our on-demand webinar series about the latest at Lona AV solutions that are simple, reliable, and cost-effective and easy to deploy. My name is Ken Eagle and I'm the Director of Training and Education at Lona and today I'm excited to discuss wireless BYOD for the conference room with my guest, Seth Powell, who is the Senior Sales Engineer for at Lona. Welcome, Seth. Thanks, Ken. Wireless BYOD and USB-C, the only universal AV switcher. Seth, what can you tell us about this solution from Atlanta? Uh, it's really an industry first. Um, this switcher combines wireless AV support with HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB-C for new and em emerging source devices. Um, you know, what really makes this product great is, uh, number one, it has uh, dual outputs, uh, one HDMI as well as one HD base T uh, for compatibility with other HD base T receivers. Um, and it's also got its wireless support, as we mentioned, which is going to support your Chromecast, your Air Apple AirPlay, as well as Miracast. Um, it also has uh, things like IO triggers uh, for uh, triggering various uh, states with an IO uh, sensor. Um, you have things like uh, embedded audio outputs, uh, and um, and of course our uh, our standard um, automatic display control as well as automatic input switching, which makes this really an all-in-one piece. All right. Whenever people ask me about the SW510W uh, wireless support, um, you know it seems to come up a lot that. Uh, other, other manufacturers' products that they've used for wireless seem to be a little complicated. So they ask me, how do you, uh, how do you share your content uh, with this product? And I usually say, it's really as easy as one, two, three. Um, step one, you're gonna connect to the, uh, the Wi-Fi, whether that be the, uh, the um, corporate Wi-Fi where uh, we're using this in a, in a facility that, that allows this box to be on the corporate network, um, or if we're using it as a standalone wireless access point, either way, you connect to that Wi-Fi with your device, um, select that uh, casting mechanism, whether that's iOS, uh, AirPlay, um, Miracast, or Chromecast, um, and then the switcher will take care of the rest for you. Uh, step number three, it's going to go ahead and uh, automatically switch to that input and automatically turn that display on, and you will have your content there shared on the screen. So let's take a look at a basic SW510W system. Um, in this application diagram, as you can see, uh, this is a, a pretty typical setup. You have your laptops there that are mirror casting to the box. You also have your BYOD devices, tablets, phones, whatever that may be, also wirelessly casting to that box. Um, you have an HD base T output going to one of our HD base T receivers and then out to a display. And in this particular diagram, you're connected to the local area network as well. Um, so in this particular application we uh, we have been given the uh, the uh, rights to uh, put this device on the the, uh, the the corporate network but as you can see it doesn't have access to the corporate uh, wireless access point but here you would connect to the wireless access point the internal wireless access point of the 510w system still have access to the corporate LAN and be able to wirelessly share your content to the uh, to the display here so lastly, uh, you know, we, we always get the question, how do you control this? And uh, we would highly recommend taking a look at our velocity control. We think it pairs really well with this product. The way velocity would work in this uh, environment is a, a business environment in which we have multiple conference rooms, as you can see here. We would need a single uh, AT VGW 250, which is going to be our uh, velocity gateway. That velocity gateway would be connected to the corporate network here. And then all of these rooms would also be connected to that corporate network and we would be controlling these rooms and, and, and simultaneously the, the SW510W in each of these rooms uh, from that corporate network, from that VGW250 that's connected to that corporate network. So all of these rooms would be controlled by this single VGW250. To make this a little simpler, obviously we can add our uh, touch panels in the rooms as well. Um, you know, you can have pretty much as many of these touch panels as you want, including BYOD devices if you wanted to add those. So you could do control via your uh, iPhone, an iPad, um, an Android tablet, a computer, however you wanted to, to do that control. It's really a very flexible system. 
Lastly, if you wanted to connect us to other environments, uh, we had things like uh, the Velocity Cloud Service that would help you remotely manage uh, other other sites, um, other applications from this uh, from this single corporate LAN. Uh, if you wanted to set up some sort of a help desk or or, or a feature such as as that, uh, this would be a, a good application for that. And then we also have the ability to do full redundancy on our VGW250. So if you added a second VGW250, it could be used in conjunction with this primary uh, gateway to do full redundancy, uh, full backup of this uh, of this system. So if that primary gateway went down, we would have a, a, a complete backup gateway that would support all of your control functionality as well as all of your touch panel interfaces. All right, well, Seth, thank you for that overview of the 510W and the Atlona Velocity Control System. Remember, the Atlona Advantage gives you the highest level of customer support, training, and protection in the industry. We are proud to feature an industry-leading 10-year warranty with every Atlona product. All right, that concludes our broadcast on wireless BYOD solutions for the conference room. Be sure to visit us online at atlona.com to learn more about this solution and to access our case studies as well as our free education tools inside of Atlona Academy. Thank you.